Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these double brick stitch colorful fringe seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing them so a beginner could make them. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more absolutely free content like this. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support. You could check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Thank you so much for watching, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 5 colors of 11 ohm seed beads. I use really dark blue color, red color, orange color, yellow color and light green color. Here I'm using regular earring findings. This is Nymon Island thread that is 0.3mm or size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 12 or even size 10 but the smaller the needle, the easier it is. Here I use free pattern that I provided and I did myself. If you want to know how I make my own uh, beading pattern, check description. These are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those dark blue beads and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work and I go back through these two blue beads back in circle okay then what I do is that I go through the next two beads and I have this you see here I have uh, my beads pointing the holes of my beads pointing in this direction and they are next to each other. I have two columns of two beads next to each other. Then I go like this. This is a third column. And this is a fourth column. And this is the fifth one and I want to have nine columns in total. Okay, and I have my nine columns here and I will consult with my pattern now. Yes, these are nine columns and then what I need to take are two red and two orange. Okay, I take them and because in my next row I have less beads than in this one, I'm doing a decreasing brick stitch. If you're not familiar, don't worry, I'm showing it so a beginner could understand it. So here you see the thread bridges between my beads. I go through the second one because I decrease. If I increase, I'll go through the first one, but this is another story. Okay, okay. Now what we do is that we go through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work, the orange ones. Okay, and then what I do is that I reinforce by going one more time through those beads that I have here. Let me now again consult with my pattern. I just did this column here of two reds and this of two orange then i need a column of yellow then two columns of green a yellow an orange and a red 
and then now I will add this one of two yellows. The next columns I'm adding one by one and not like here two columns of two in total. Now I add a column of yellow and when I add it under the next thread bridge I go back through it through those two beads. Then again I want to consult with my pattern and it comes green, green, yellow, orange, red. A green one. Another green. yellow, orange, red, as I said. Okay, and this row is ready. Now I'm going to consult with my pattern. I did this row and this row. And now it comes this, uh, this row. I will start it from here. And first I need a red, two reds and two orange to start it because I always start with four beads. Then again I go under the second thread bridge backwards through these two orange that are closer to the center and I reinforce. Then I will consult with my pattern and what comes next is a yellow column, a green column, a yellow, an orange and a red column. Okay, I'll do this now. Okay, and it comes the next row, which is this one, a red, orange, two yellows, orange and red. Okay, two reds and two orange. The same thing I did before. Then two yellow columns. An orange column and a red column. Okay, then it comes this row, or red, orange, yellow, orange and red.
OK, this row is ready. Now it comes the next row, which is red, orange, orange, red. Again, go under the second thread bridge and reinforce. I'm doing this all the time. In each first step, I add four, I go under the second thread bridge and I reinforce. Then red and orange and one more, more time red. And at the last step here, guys, I need four dark beads and I go again under the second thread bridge counting from here. There are only two thread bridges and I go through the second one. Then I go through these two beads. Here I need an earring finding and I'm going backwards like this. And like this. And I'm basically reinforcing it. Now what I want to do is go in this direction and exit here guys. Okay, here through these beads, now it is safe to cut this tail thread here. Okay, and from here now guys, I'm going to start my fringe part. Okay, my friends, and here is what I have on my needle. A dark bead, three yellow beads, a dark bead, three orange beads, a dark bead, three red beads, a dark bead, three light green beads, a dark bead, a yellow, an orange, a red, an orange and a yellow. Okay, this is the sequence. And I'm going to slide this down. After that, what I want to do is go through this dark bead after the last five colorful beads at the end. Okay. And when I pull, guys, I have this, you see. Now, what I want to do is pull this here to this part. I don't want any thread showing somewhere. And I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. And I have my first fringe ready. Then I go in the next two blue beads, dark blue beads. And then I'm going to take one green. And after that, I repeat the same sequence that I have here. 
Okay, here is the sequence that I'm going to be adding all the time. I'm just going to be changing here the number of green beads that I add. Okay, I slide this one down. Then in my next step again, I do absolutely the same thing. I go through this dark bead here. And I pull. After I pull, I push it here to this side. And all I need to do is to go back through all of those beads. Be careful not to skip a bit because otherwise you should go back and redo everything. Okay, here is what I do. Pulling like this. Then in my next step, I'm going in the next two blue beads. And I always turn my work the way it's easier for me. Okay. In my next step, I take two green beads. And the familiar sequence here. Okay, and here is the sequence. A dark, three yellows, a dark, three orange, a dark, three reds, a dark, three green, a dark, one yellow, one orange, one red, one orange, and one yellow. Okay, I'm sliding this down. And I go here through this blue bead backwards in circle then i will go through all of those bits of camera and exit here at this point and i'll be back okay and i'm here at this point and i need to add three green beads then take the familiar sequence and i'll be back okay here is the sequence You could pause on it and do this. Then I'm doing absolutely the same thing. Going backwards. Again, I will go back and I will come here. Okay, and what I take here after the four greens that I need to take is the same sequence. You see? Here it comes the four greens. One, two, three, four greens. In each row I increase with one. Then I'm doing the same thing. Go back. Okay. Now I will go back and exit through the next two blue beads and I'll be back. Okay. I went through all of those bits and now I'm exiting here as you may see like I did all the time and I need this time three beats guys. Why three beats? Because here I reached the middle part which is the longest one and now I will start decreasing starting with three. And after that I'm taking the familiar sequence. Okay. And now guys, I think you could guess what I'm doing until the end. Here I take two greens and the familiar sequence, one green and the familiar sequence and only the familiar sequence. Okay, I'll do this off camera. You could mirror these three and add them here and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am. I just added my last fringe. And now what I want to do is to make here a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I make a loop. I go twice through the loop I've made. And I pull. And then I go through some beads. 
in this direction. And I cut my thread. Okay guys, and now my colorful double brick stitch earrings with fringe are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week, and you will be inspired often. Thank you all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support. Check description for a full list of materials, other useful resources and the Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Also, you might also, you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.